Hey folks, it's me King Kong, and I'm going to review GIFCAM.exe, or just GIFCAM. It is a very, very, very nice program. Essentially, we're looking at the, what is that, as far as I know, the first ever screen capping GIF software. It came out last year, I believe, and it's very simple. Much like Bandicam's capture window, it is a window that always stays on top, no matter what kind of program you open. You open up Audacity, it's on top. And that is very nice, like even if I put it under. So that's cool. Now, a big part of it is of course making GIFs out of videos. For instance, say you wanted a video of a guy in a Romney mask dancing. Well, first off, you want to make it kind of small, because GIFs are huge files. And then, you just want to uh, get rid of that part, and you just want to tap record. Oh yeah. Good job. So you just made yourself a very, very short little gif, and you can uh, edit it. Say I only wanted the part where he started hugging the uh, stormtrooper. I can delete from this frame to the start. I could have done to the end, so then it would just be this. And you've got yourself a nice little gif here. That is pretty neat. We can preview it and see what it looks like. Aw, uh -huh. yeah, look at him hugging that stormtrooper. He's like, mm, Mitt Romney and the trooper. Alright, it tells you the file size is very small because it was a small GIF and it was only recording at 10 frames per second, not the smoothest. We'll show you the difference for 16, so we'll record a bit more. As you can see, this is already a very large GIF compared to it. That small difference makes just a huge difference. And we'll preview it. Size is more than twice, I believe. I don't remember what the old size was, but it's a lot smoother. It's got a good little dance to it. So, the last speed you can record at is 33 frames per second. We can view that. Alrighty, this is a very large GIF, as you might have guessed. Any larger, and these would be ridiculous in size. This is only a bit bigger because it was a shorter GIF. And there's the dance, it's very smooth. Uh, again, we can look at edit. I'm going to talk about this green screen feature, which while editing you can uh, turn off because it's kind of hard to see while it's on. But essentially, the program I believe saves it so that it just copies the last frame for similar colors. Now, for some reason, this one does not detect similar colors very well. This GIF, but the green screen still that works in some places and therefore lowering the size of the file. There's a few things you can run it through. For instance, you can change the amount of colors, the grayscale, or the monochrome it uses. Nearest, I believe, typically bumps down the file size as one point. Yeah, now is 1.39 rather than 1.6, which is pretty good. Not much of a drop in quality. You know the usual stuff you'd see in a GIF online. That's very nice. Uh, another future. Future. In the future, there is another feature, as I am about to show off. You can do full screen, which I've never tried. I don't even know if that works. No, okay, apparently it does, but it's ridiculous because a uh, file this big. Hang on, let's try this. Let's just wave the mouse around. Do, do. Alright, stop. This is going to be a huge file if full screen works. Yeah. It took like a solid 30 seconds to process. You can see it's nowhere as high fidelity, it's kind of flashing because it's huge, and, but I mean, it works if you, for some reason, wanted to make a GIF of your entire screen, I guess you could. So, a few other features of this program are uh, opening past GIFs, just in general, or made with it, if you want to make a reaction image where it splices through together, as you can see. You can just open up ones already made, you can edit them, go back, it's a nice feature, this shows off the green screen a little better, and uh, you can see what the old GIF was, which is very good. There we go, nice little uh, GIF there. And all in all, that's a pretty nice feature. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the ability to do frame by frame animation. So, we'll show you a frame by frame animation. Frame frame. Very self-explanatory. This would be very good for like GIFs where you're overlaying something but you don't want to put it through all of the Photoshop animation stuff. 
and we'll just preview that. There we go, spinning around. I don't know why you'd need something like this, but you know, just in case. And finally, you just click save, you put spinning icon, and you have yourself all your saved spinning icons. Anything you need really can be done by this. You can resize it. It's very good. I recommend it. You can make GIFs of YouTube videos without having to download them. And overall, I'm going to give this program a 9 out of 10. I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because just by the nature of GIFs, file sizes are ginormous. You try and make a GIF that's like 488 by 300, as this is, you're going to get file sizes that are massive very quickly, which is not a problem. I understand the limitations, but it's still a pain. And have a great day.